Zack Snyder is hanging up his cape when it comes to superhero movies. The filmmaker behind Watchmen, Man of Steel, Batman v Superman, Dawn of Justice, and Justice League said in a new interview with The Hollywood Reporter that he no longer has excitement for the genre. Though he noted that there are still a few stories he'd consider tackling should his pal James Gunn, or even Marvel, come calling. If Gunn were to invite him into the revamped DC movie universe, Snyder said he'd be game for a Dark Knight Returns adaptation, but only a true representation of the iconic Frank Miller graphic novel. On the Marvel side, Snyder said he considered directing a Daredevil and Elektra movie, namely, an adaptation of Miller's Elektra Lives Again. But that's it, he said. Otherwise, he's not very nostalgic for the genre. We've been on the treadmill. It has not evolved, Snyder said. I don't have the excitement for it that I used to have. Published in 1990, Elektra Lives Again centers on a grief-stricken Matt Murdock slash Daredevil, who is plagued by recurring nightmares and premonitions that his former love, the assassin Elektra, who died in his arms in the pages Daredevil, is alive and still active. Daredevil and Elektra have been portrayed on the big screen by Ben Affleck and Jennifer Garner in 2003's Daredevil and 2005's Elektra, and on the small screen by Charlie Cox and Elodie Young in Marvel and Netflix's Daredevil series. Cox is getting his own Disney Plus show, Daredevil, Born Again, and reports emerged over the summer that Garner will reprise her role in the upcoming Deadpool 3. The Marvel hasn't commented and the actress has remained coy. As for Snyder and his chaotic, years making superhero movies at DC, he told THR, in the end, it could not have gone any other way. In the meantime, the first half of Snyder's two-part, superhero-less space tale Rebel Moon arrives December 15th for a limited theatrical release, before landing on Netflix December 22nd.